All we need is a place to be And a few good friends for some company If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked If you drop on by, you don't have to knock We're happy to share whatever we've got Yeah, I'm obsessed with sling bags. First of all, they're great because they make you carry your camera out where you can actually use it, not stuffed in a backpack, but that's not what this video is about. I wanna share a new sling bag that I bought with my own money. I've been using it in all my professional work, documentary filmmaking in the field. I absolutely love this bag. It is, I'm gonna say this with all seriousness, it's the best bag or backpack or whatever you wanna call it that I've ever used. And I've used an expensive $600 backpack and some lower medium cost backpacks, but this one is the king of sling bags and packs for me. I'm gonna share it with you and tell you why I love it. In recent months, I reviewed several sling bags. This is the Terion. Costs about 50 bucks on sale, uh, and I bought this, and that was the first one that sort of got me hooked on, I love sling bags. And then I got sent this one from k &F, which is a promotional uh, gift that I got, reviewed it, and it's a nice one too, costs about 50 bucks, so lower end uh, on the uh, cost scale. And then there's this one that I bought, and it's the Tenba Solstice 10 liter sling bag. And if you know Tenba, you know, they're one of the top backpack manufacturers. And this uh, shoulder bag does not disappoint. I've been using this in documentary filmmaking work and I absolutely love it. It's my go-to. Now I'm gonna tell you about the features of this, why this makes this an amazing value and a great pickup if you're looking for a heavy duty professional shoulder bag. Let's go over the exterior of this Solstice 10 liter sling bag. It's all made of this heavy duty nylon, which I really appreciate because you're gonna find in a lot of the lower budget backpacks or bags, they're made with this simulated sort of leather type material. And I'm not sure how that's gonna last as far as durability in the long run. Whereas this one, I've taken it on all kinds of trips and it's had some banging around. And I can tell you this is wearing as I expected, it's not wearing. So love that it's made of heavy duty uh, nylon. You've got a carry handle at the top, which is pretty much standard. Really nice thick padding for the back. They don't skimp on this. The shoulder pad I would say is of medium weight, but it certainly doesn't dig into you and it's very comfortable. All kinds of little extra hooks or loops on the shoulder bag that you can attach other things to. You've also got a place to put a tripod. This is not some cheap little webbing that you see in a lot of low cost backpacks. And it's got your strap at the top there. When you're looking for a sling bag, a lot of the cheap ones, the $50, $60 ones, they really haven't put a lot of thought into it. It does sling over your shoulder, but how it functions when you're in the field isn't something they often think about. And this is probably a good example, this Terry on one. The only side pocket here is this one, and it's a very small one. So don't forget, when you're using a sling, you're bringing it around to the front when it's on your shoulder, and you're quickly accessing your stuff. So anytime they put pockets on this side, you can't really access those easily when you sling it around, or if you open it, things are gonna fall out. So that's where a company like Tenba, obviously a professional backpack company, totally gets it because when you sling it around, all the pockets are accessible right here, including the main compartment one right here. I mean, they've got it all figured out how people use the bag and how they access it. So that's really important. Now I'm gonna show you the inside and how much stuff I can pack into this Tenba 10 liter Solstice shoulder bag. It's amazing. So I've got a front pocket here, which I always carry my model releases so I can easily get those from subjects when I'm in the field. So that's really great that I can carry those and quickly access them because I don't have time to fiddle when you need somebody to sign a waiver. I also 
carry my portable YC onion slider that actually can fit in this front pocket. And then other pockets here, I've got different cleaning supplies or a little wrench. Let's get into the main compartment and I'll show you just how much gear I can take. Remembering that I don't carry my camera in these bags, my camera is always out and ready to go. If I need to take one of my jackets, windbreaker, believe it or not, I can fit that in here. I mean, how many bags can you not fit a jacket in? I can do that. This one, I've got my iFootage Cobra mini tripod, and this is to use with my mini slider. So I've got the complete setup here, my little mini tripod, my mini slider, and I can get those slide shots whenever I need to. Got my ball head to use on the slider. I can bring my extra V-mount batteries, so I'm always ready to go for the entire day. Extra battery for my monitor. And I've got my drone that I can fit in here as well. So you can see I've got everything I need to go a day and get what I need when I'm out documentary filming. And the best part is this is nice and lightweight and I'm not fiddling with a big backpack and I'm always ready to go when I'm filming. Now, is this the dream bag with no cons whatsoever? Well, I'd be lying if I said it didn't have a con. It's got one that might be a deal breaker for you. Some shoulder bags swing this way and some shoulder bags swing this way. It just depends on how the manufacturer has designed it. I use a camera saddle on this side all the time. Love it, it's been awesome. The Tenba swings this way. So you can see there's a conflict when I do have my camera saddle on. It's not exactly easy to swing this around with the camera saddle. So I wish it did have the other side sling, but that's okay, I can live with that. This is such a great bag that it's a minor inconvenience. Oh, I forgot to mention too, that there are little hooks on the side here and if you buy straps separately like I did, you can attach straps and then you have a little bit of a system to carry a tripod as well if you want to. Leave the lights on and the door unlocked. If you drop on by, you don't have to knock. We're happy to share whatever we've got.